big cold front come in this morning, or I say big cold front, I mean it's 20 degrees cooler than it was yesterday, but certainly not cold. I think it was about 56 degrees when I uh, launched the boat. It hadn't really affected the water temperature any, and uh, I wanted to come out and fish this morning, but uh, it was just kind of spitting rain off and on, just generally just kind of nasty, and the wind was blowing really, really hard. Don't have a whole lot of time to fish, about two hours uh, on the dot before I lose my daylight. I'm gonna get out here and just kind of give it a whirl and uh, do just a little looking around and see if I can't find some fish. And I apologize for that beeping noise in the background. My uh, battery in my kill switch has gone uh, dead and I couldn't get my wireless kill switch to pair to the uh, to the sensor because the battery's dead and the backup one is in the, my other fishing coat so I had to override it. That's a pretty good game. I may have to install one of those at home. Found some fish uh, out in this deeper waters. I fished yesterday and uh, found several places where there was a good amount of bait and fish and uh, you know still real scattered they weren't bunched up but definitely fishable water and I fished them yesterday and I couldn't get them to bite at all and uh, I finally ended up having to go up uh, pretty shallow to catch fish and even then it was pretty tough and um, I came back out here just now and they were right where I'd found them yesterday so I'm gonna make a quick drag through them. So I was just pulling my rods up. I've got my two rods on the right pulled in. And uh, I just got a real good bite on one of these left boards. And I started in about 30 foot of water and there was a good many fish. Um, and, and, and bait scattered around. They weren't thick, but there were certainly some catchable fish and some bigger fish. Got this bite and I just turned around and looked at my graph and the fish has started showing up again as I'm coming up this ledge, um, which is pretty common. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave these left two rods with these planter boards out for right now and just kind of go up this ledge a little bit see if maybe I can get a good bump. I, I had a real good bite on this inside rod right here with this planter board. Is is up really high and it's flat right now. Hopefully that shows up there on the camera. It's 30.22 and flat and it's been that way since I got out here. And um, typically, uh, when you have these big cold fronts that come through like this, you know, the first day of a cold front can can typically be pretty tough. It's not always the case. I've had some days where where I've fished the, you know, the first day of a cold front and I've just worn them out that day. Um, but more often than not, the first day after a cold front is a little bit tough. Got another bite right there back up there messing with the dog trying to clean her mess up out of the boat and getting bit. I don't have a whole lot further to drag. I just like to catch one good fish. I don't, you know, not having time, uh, you know, two hours and fishing in these conditions. There we go. There we go. Nope. didn't get it I screwed up there I was letting line out and I started messing with the dog and I let way too much line out it's a darn good thing I didn't hook a fish because uh, I got a pretty good sized bait on there if I'd have hooked a fish big enough to get that bait in its mouth as far out as that was that would have been a booger. Just finding
scattered fish everywhere which I fully expected and I was going to look at another place and I saw a bunch of birds kind of working you can see here over on the top of this mud flat and when I got over here and started scanning there's there's bait up on top of the flat and all around the edge and I marked a ton of fish more fish than I've seen stacked in one area in at least a couple of weeks and I got pretty excited I was gonna try to get up on top of that flat and anchor but uh, and cast off to the edge of it but the mud is just so soft and the wind is gusting so much that uh, I just couldn't couldn't get grabbed hold good there I just slide and um, my talons weren't grabbing so I've come around to the side of it and uh, got all my lines in the water and I'm going into the wind going right now towards this ledge um, there at the edge of the mud flat I'm in about 15 16 feet of water right now and uh, when I hit this ledge where I saw these these fish stacked up it's gonna slope up real quick and then eventually get up into about six foot of water so a lot of times when you're fishing these post front conditions like this you know you'll get up in one depth and you'll see fish but they won't hit but there are times where we're just kind of changing that depth uh, makes all the difference so I typically will start uh, especially when fish are scattered like this I'll start in one place and I'll start to either work my way shallower or work my way deeper and see if I can find feeding fish like that um, rather than just throwing the towel in and giving up um, you know you just have to kind of keep at them keep knocking, knocking them in the head especially with this pressure high and rising or high and flat like this at some point that pressure is going to begin to drop and typically when that pressure begins to drop uh, as it starts to lower again then they're just going to go nuts here i'm starting to go up this ledge my boat is up coming up the ledge but the baits are you know pretty far behind me because i'm dragging planter boards there's a pig right there that's a good good catfish right there there's some good fish over here as well but that's certainly that's a big fish right there that's a decent size catfish right there as well the images aren't real clear because i'm going so slow but uh those are definitely catfish so those fish are feeding maybe i can hook there's another good one right there oh you know they may just have lock jaw like they did these these other areas that i've fished may not be able to get them to eat but i'm darn sure in some good fish so i did not film the ending to this video uh, when i was out on the water i ran out of daylight uh, cut out got home and uh, i was kind of debating on whether or not i was gonna uh, edit and post this or not and um kind of got to looking at it i had it up on the tv was watching and kind of realized like this is the video that people uh will tell me that i shouldn't post uh being you know a youtuber and a guide you know supposed to go out and uh, be this rock star fisherman catch fish every time i go out uh, things just always be sunshine and roses and the reality is that's just not how it works that's not how fishing is that's not how guiding is uh, that's not how uh, filming for youtube is so when i got to going through this and kind of scanning through the footage i realized it was just jam-packed with some great tips uh, some good valuable information in there so i decided to go ahead and edit and post it even though uh, there was no fish catching action uh, in the video so uh you know there you go if you got any questions comments go down below leave them below make sure you hit that thumbs up button have some on the water action 
with some excellent fish coming up next week. So be on the lookout. Till next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, Catfish Edge.